The number of tragic stories about single-screen theaters closing has increased drastically since 1980. 35 of San Francisco's single-screen theaters have been closed, and there are still more counting. Many groups have put in efforts to restore the 1920s and 30s-style theaters, but unfortunately, the stories that have been told in those buildings of entertainment have disappeared. One such sad story is that of Lafayette's beloved Park Theater. Built in 1941, the Park Theater had been a popular attraction for local residents. The idea of a nice Friday night movie sparked the interest of many people. Under the management of Cliff Heilman, the Park Theater had its opening night Thursday, August 21st, 1941, where they showed Abbott and Costello's Hold That Ghost. For 64 years, the Park Theater was a nice attraction for movie lovers to go see screenings that varied from simple comedies to musical dramas. In 2005, the single-screen theater that had been running for over six decades finally had its last screening. A special double feature of Cinema Paradiso and Amelie attracted a small crowd of 30 loyal fans. Well, the theater closed in 2005, and the reason we received was that it was no longer economically viable for the operator to continue to run it. One of the reasons that the Park Theater closed is that it was part of a dying breed, which was the single screen movie theater. There are very few, if any, single screen theaters left in the United States. Um, and one of the reasons that the single screen theater, I believe, is not profitable is that it has to compete with the multiplexes. Um, it has to compete with getting, if you're showing first run movies, it has to compete with other theaters in the area because the movie studios have certain rules about how close the same movie can be playing to another theater. Um, and the fact of the matter is that most theaters make uh, most of their money on concessions. So unless you have more than one screen, once people have seen your movie, they're not going to come back until you get a new movie. Um, so your, your audience is necessarily smaller. Now, the theater has stood for 11 years as an empty building. A company called the Lafayette Venture Group recently bought it for $1.6 million. Discussion on what to do with the building has been brought up in only a few city council meetings, but the decision is up to the owners. So there have been discussions between the city and the new ownership group regarding potential uses of the site. And at one point, the new ownership group was considering bringing in Fenton's ice cream, um, and that didn't proceed. At another point, they were having a discussion with us about retaining the facade of the theater and then rebuilding the building, putting in a restaurant, some office space, maybe a small number of uh, housing units. And they, they, but they never submitted an application to do that. Although the building has been vacant for all these years, different groups have tried to save the theater. One group on Facebook is called the Save the Park Theater Group, and they have the goal to get the building up and running as a theater again. Another way to get the building working is by turning to the city for help. So even though the theater is currently privately owned, there are some options for the city to get involved. Um, in other cities, they've been successful in public-private partnerships where the city can partner with a private developer or other private groups to provide certain support to make the venue more profitable. Um, it could be partnering with a fundraising group to raise funds to 
maintain the building or to um, put on a particular number of shows a year because um, empty buildings do absolutely nothing for the rhythm of your city, uh, which is important. Um, if you could get an entertainment venue there, for example, or something that attracts uh, people to your community, it just it creates a vibrancy in your city that's important. And so that's one of the reasons that the city could get involved. Saving the Park Theater will not be an easy task to take on, but many groups are determined to make that their goal.